I give you a coin made from a stone. Here's the and I give you a feather Here's the pulled from an angel's wing. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most anticipated streaming premieres. Our duty as soldiers is to protect humanity, whatever the cost. For this list, we're looking at new shows we're looking forward to the most in 2022 that won't be found on cable. Since we're only focusing on debuts, we will be leaving returning series like Stranger Things for another list. Which of these shows do you want to see the most? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Peacemaker. HBO Max. Truth is, I'm supposed to be in prison. For what? Superhero stuff. Although the gun-toting and absolutely jacked Peacemaker wants to do heroic deeds, his willingness to violently attack anyone standing in his way makes him look like a villain. After his close brush with death, he may turn over a new leaf in his HBO Max series. Peacemaker will now have a team behind him trying to steer him down the right path. And since James Gunn is the showrunner, we can expect the overall story to be full of violent mayhem and hilarious jokes. Oh my god. He's, he's hugging me. He's hugging me. Dad, grab my phone. I don't want to move. Audiences know John Cena can bring plenty of humor and humanity to the violent Peacemaker. While we don't know if the character will feel more like a hero by the end, we do know that we'll have a good time watching his journey. Who's the guy that's peeking out behind the trash can? Vigilante. He's trying to be helpful. <laughs> Our first target is Senator Roland Gall. Number 9. Baymax. Disney Plus. Hello. I am Baymax, your personal healthcare companion. While we loved all the unique characters that made up the cast of Big Hero 6, Baymax was definitely the breakout character. The adorable healthcare robot stole our hearts by being unfailingly kind and incredibly heroic. You are my patient. B -B Baymax, your no. health is my only concern. Stop! No, I'm, I'm gonna figure are out. Are you satisfied with your case? While he also starred in Big Hero 6: The Series, his upcoming Disney show promises to put more emphasis on him. Early reports say that the episodes will focus on his nursing career in San Francisco. This setup can easily lead to a lot of funny interactions between Baymax and new characters, as well as emotional scenes. Fortunately, it won't be too long before we get to see this robot make a few house calls. Other treatments include compassion and physical reassurance. I'm okay, really. You will be all right. There, there. Number 8. Guillermo del Toro presents 10 After Midnight. Netflix. Academy Award-winning director Guillermo del Toro has a talent for writing truly terrifying scenes. He also likes to use intricate practical effects and makeup to bring frightening characters to the screen. After years of giving us unsettling scenes, del Toro is now the showrunner of a horror anthology series. If his involvement isn't enough to convince audiences this show will be scary good, the cast will. We were already sold when we saw actors like F. Murray Abraham and Crispin Glover were involved. Well, right now, this moment, I like myself. But reports that Andrew Lincoln of The Walking Dead fame would be part of this new horror series got us more excited. After seeing him fight zombies, we can't wait to see him grapple with whatever horrors Del Toro comes up with. Let's go easy, okay? I haven't done this for years. Number 7. She-Hulk. Disney Plus. Question. How'd I get so vogue and Hunter Green, huh? Not to mention, strong. Jennifer Walters didn't let the fact that she could become the giant green She-Hulk derail her career as a lawyer. She decided to embrace her identity and help other superpowered beings navigate the legal system. Since the She-Hulk comics are known for their humor, you can expect a lot of laughs in and out of the show's courtroom scenes. Please take your seat, Ms. Hulk. Uh, she Walters. Uh, Ms. Walters. Where were you? Sorting through the latest finding. And we will also be treated to appearances from her cousin, Bruce Banner, as well as the intimidating Abomination. The show has the potential to go from funny legal briefs to She-Hulk fighting supervillains in an instant. And if Jennifer really makes a big impression on the MCU, Nick Fury might recruit her to help him in his Secret Invasion show next year. The idea was to bring together a group of remarkable people, see if they could become something more. Number 6. Andor 
Disney+. Plus. This is Captain Cassian Andor, Rebel Intelligence. Almost a decade after audiences saw Cassian Andor meet a tragic end in Rogue One, this series will wind the clock back to expand on his story. It'll be interesting to see how he became a rebel spy that routinely went to extreme lengths to keep hope for his cause alive. The cast list suggests this determined spy will meet up with familiar faces like Saw Gerrera. Did they send you? Here to kill me. We'll also be introduced to characters played by talented actors like Fiona Shaw and Stellan Skarsgård. Whether they'll try to hurt or help the hero is up in the air, but we know Cassian won't let them or anyone else stop him from rebelling against the Empire in this promising series. I'm beginning to think the Force and I have different priorities. Relax, Captain. We've been in worse cages than this one. This is the first for me. Number five, Moon Knight, Disney Plus. What are you doing here? Someone told me you were just a myth. I could leave. When Mark Spector nearly dies while working as a mercenary, the moon god Khonshu decides to give him a second chance. The mortal man becomes a lunar-themed superhero who fights the forces of evil with his impressive combat abilities and cool weapons. Oscar Isaac is set to portray this marvelous vigilante in the Moon Knight show. We had a fleet, now we're down to one ship and you've told us nothing. Tell us that we have a plan, that there's hope. Since the character has dissociative identity disorder, the actor will show us the different identities the hero has. Given Isaac's diverse resume of heroes, villains, and everything in between, it is clear that he has the range to play Moon Knight. And the actor can definitely handle himself in action scenes. Hopefully, this series will be just the first of many of Isaac's appearances as the lunar crime fighter. So, I thought heroism and ideals were for fools. And I guess I'm a bigger fool than I ever realized. Number four, Halo, Paramount Plus. Mind if I join you? Of course not, sir. At ease, Chief. The Halo series follows an epic battle between a futuristic army and an evil alien alliance known as the Covenant. Throughout the franchise, the badass Master Chief leads humanity's charge against the seemingly endless hordes of alien enemies. This iconic soldier will be played by Pablo Schreiber in the series. He has tons of experience playing intimidating characters in shows like American Gods. And if his casting wasn't amazing enough, the series will bring the original Cortana voice actress Jen Taylor back to play Master Chief's loyal AI partner. It worked. You did it. Just like you always do. Between the fan-favorite talent and rich source material, this Halo series has what it takes to get viewers invested in Master Chief's fight. I only held enough back to get you off the ship. No, that's not. We go together. Number three, Sandman, Netflix. Tonight, we will achieve what no one has even attempted. We will summon and imprison death. There are fans that have been waiting since 1991 for a full adaptation of Neil Gaiman's critically acclaimed comic about Morpheus, The King of Dreams. Netflix rewarded their patience with a stunning and atmospheric teaser. During the preview, we saw Morpheus get captured by an occult group conducting a mystical ritual. The teaser's ominous narration hints that detaining him was an extremely bad idea. You're gonna need all the help you can get. Tom Sturridge will play the lead role of Morpheus in the series, while the incredible Charles Dance will play an occultist. Gwendolyn Christie will play the infamous Lucifer. The combination of the ridiculously perfect casting and absurdly long wait might make this show into Netflix's most anticipated series. Death has family, desire, destiny, despair. Which one have I got? Dream. Number two, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Disney Plus. I have a bad feeling about this. I don't sense anything. It's not about the mission master, it's something elsewhere. As soon as Ewan McGregor walked into Phantom Menace as a young Obi-Wan Kenobi, it was clear he was born to play the role. He perfectly portrayed the character's wisdom, wit, and fighting ability. McGregor also had great chemistry with Hayden Christensen's Anakin Skywalker. Ten years after their tragic fight in Revenge of the Sith, the two characters will appear in the Kenobi series. Anakin, Chancellor Palpatine is evil! From my point of view, the Jedi are evil! 
Well, then you are lost! While we'll see Christensen making evil moves in Darth Vader's iconic suit, McGregor's Obi-Wan will embark on a new quest. Just the thought of seeing these two meet in the series is incredibly exciting. But even if they don't cross paths, we have a good feeling about seeing McGregor's Kenobi again. Do his family send him? I will take the child and watch over him. Before we tune in to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Willow, Disney Plus. Warwick Davis will reprise his role as the titular sorcerer. Willow Offgood, receive this book of magic. You are on your way to becoming a great sorcerer. An animated Magic the Gathering series, Netflix. It's exciting to hear veteran DC actor Brandon Routh will play a major role. You might be the key to saving the multiverse. It's actually one of the least insane things I've ever heard. First, you stay in face Luther. Zootopia Plus, Disney Plus. We're looking forward to returning to the city from this Academy Award winning film. Sir, you were going 115 miles per hour. I hope you have a good explanation. Flash, flash, 100 yard dash. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Lord of the Rings – Amazon Prime Rumor grew of a shadow in the east, whispers of a nameless fear, and the ring of power perceived. It's time had now come. This beloved franchise has a gigantic world full of fantastical creatures and legendary heroes. We're optimistic we'll journey to parts of Middle-earth we've never seen before in this upcoming show. Since the Lord of the Rings novel was already adapted into a stellar trio of movies, the series will focus on an age before Frodo left the Shire. The knowledge that characters like Galadriel will appear opens the door for more iconic faces to make cameos. You offer it to me freely. I do not deny that my heart has greatly desired this. We'll have plenty of time to meet people because the show is already getting a second season. Amazon Prime has had huge success adapting properties like Invincible and The Boys for new audiences. The streaming service will likely strike gold again and kick off an impressive and precious story in 2022. You're late. A wizard is never late. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.